hey what's going on guys here at galaxy games with uh dylan and today he's going to be showing us um a two card spiral combo that ends him in basically uh one of the best uh, possible boards he can do turn one that wins him a lot of games uh you know sleeper that's indestructible non-targetable you know can't be destroyed by battle pops two cards it's just really good so yeah take it away man so it's called the way this deck's called right now it's called spiral turbo and uh like he said it's a two card combo but it's usually a lot better if you have three cards because if you have three cards, it's a lot less fragile. Yeah. But like, like it's really fragile right here to disruption. So you would always activate this, uh, effect to search, yeah. uh, quick fix. And um, this is interchangeable with Sea Monster Theseus. I just do this one because this one's my favorite yeah. because it's a free Mrs. Radiant. Yeah, so you have uh, six, cop six copies each of like your two different cards you need, like either the free Gofu, free Institution, and then with Resort, you have three Resort, three Terraform. Right? Yeah, so like this just helps me recycle my quick fixes back and stuff. Um, the way this combo is going to end, I'm not going to have a quick fix in Grave. Um, but anyway, so I would Synchro and I would search into. Uh, Big Red. Yeah. Um, it's an equip spell. Uh, your monster can't be destroyed by battle, brings and, it back from and it brings it back from grave. It's it's so good. So you search this, and then you synchro into Coral Dragon, and uh, then you activate this. Uh, bring this back. Effect a search. You bring you grab him, and then you synchro into this. So to summon Sleeper, you need three Spiral cards. So you already have two in Grave. Uh, you summon Ancient Fairy. You'll draw a free card. Uh, pop this. Gain a thousand life. So Instant Fusion doesn't matter because you'll be back to eight thousand life at the very least. Yeah, and then there, right there, is your free cards for yeah. a Sleeper. So then you search. You search another one. I thought I had it, but I guess I don't. Yeah, search the Sleeper at this point. Yeah, I search Sleeper. I special summon them. Uh, one, two. Where's the third one? Oh, well, this yeah. will be the third one. Yeah, Remember? but then there's another resort. Yeah, there'll here. be a, there'll be another resort here, guys. Yeah, this is our uh, second take because my phone was stupid and you know, quit the video for some reason. So, and then you equip this to him, yeah. and you create a. Uh, all my spiral monsters can't be targeted, and this one can't be destroyed by battle or card effect. Yeah. So. And even if they pop your field spell, like say they twin twister the field spell, well, all they can do is pop this. They can't target this because this says you can't target spiral cards with effects. Yeah. So this creates a lock. And then you still got to think you have four cards because you drew a card off Ancient Fairy. Yeah. And then so you, like, you still have a pointer off of Mrs. Radiant. Yeah. So like a lot of the cool things I like to do is I search drone or have drone. And then if I could find my one of, you can activate Ancient Fairy's effect to special summon him. And it's really broken because then you can stack your opponent's deck too. Yeah, and then if you have a super agent, you can you yeah. know, do that play. But yeah, well, then we're getting into wild Fs and stuff. But right. yeah, it's it's really good. I um, and not to mention it's a trap. So like, if your opponent's just trying to make the biggest board possible, and like say they had like three cards, you can tribute this and then target him, and then he gains fifteen attack permanently. Yeah, it's so, already twenty eight. So that's so, pretty, yeah. yeah. So it's like at forty two, I think, in my max. Forty three. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, that's that's the main combo. Um, Machine dupe uh, helps you get to it if you don't have it because you can make Princess Sprite. Um, it gets a whole lot better after Circuit Break though. Yeah, with uh, the double helix, the Link monster. Like I'll show you guys how many cards I'm like changing until I. I'm like I'll keep all these cards, obviously. Um, I'll probably be take that out. I may take, I think I'm going to take Terraforming out. Really? Because, um, I'll take all three of these cards out. Because the, the resort, or no, Master Plan, she just becomes... The search for resort. Yeah, like you go into Double Helix, you special her out. You search a Spiral Mission card, which helps you banish, which you can discard for Quick Fix. To bring back uh, your, uh, yeah, to bring back your quick fix because double helix is a super or a super agent. Yeah. And then you have this to banish the special summon stuff, and then you can link away your uh, resort. And when she leaves the field, you get to search any spiral monster and the field spell. Yeah. So like I'll have 
a terraforming in itself. Um, it just depends on how the meta goes and what becomes relevant in competition for it. So I don't expect anything right now to be around or as competitive. Um, maybe True Draco, because it's kind of hard to out something that's unaffected by stuff. But, um, yeah, how do you feel about this deck uh, currently before Circuit Break and then, like, after Circuit Break? Because I know some people are talking, like, Tier 1 for this deck or even possibly Tier 0. Um, I have I have moments where I'm like, holy cow, I could, um, I, I could expect it to be Tier 0. Because, like, the way the board's going to end is I'm going to have this out plus, like, uh, Proxy Dragon, Firewall Dragon, Trigate Wizard, which negates board wipes, I think it does. I'm not too sure what it does. And, and it's, is it a Link 3 or Link 4? Uh, I think it's a Link 3. Yeah, okay. But it does all kinds of things. And then, like, I'll have, a, I'll have the Utility Wire set, too. Yeah. So, like, your deck's stacked. And then you do have the potential uh, with, if you want to play Toon Cannon Soldier, to do the, like, FDK with yeah. that. I'm not going to do that. I don't, I don't like FDKs. If it becomes to the point where people are just doing it, then I have to follow suit because I want to win. But then you like play two of this at the, and you play one utility, one to two utility wire. Um, I see people playing two master plan. I don't know how I feel about that. It's kind of a brick if it opens up in your hand. But like, it's like I make a big board, and if you, it, I mean, it comes back to ABC format. I'm making a big board. If you can't out it, I'm killing you. Yeah. So, I mean... Like, like it's basically saying Kaiju me or else. Yeah, like I'm going to have like this out with two of this, and then I'm going to have two super agents out with the utility wire. The the deck's nutty, and I'm just starting to think of the combos right now. And the more you think, the better. Yeah. But, like, the deck changes a lot. Like, I think I'm changing, like, almost half the deck. Like, out, out, um... I may cut my traps, my solemn brigade out, but just for extra consistency. Yeah, because I'm sure like the deck has like so much going for it, you know, with the extra support to where, like, you have the ability even going second to play through like one or two at least disruption plays and still make a, a nice board. Yeah, uh, it depends. It just depends on hands. Yeah. So it's a it's a good deck. Oh, I like it right now. Because, like, I think it's like a meta void ish right now. Mm -hmm. So, as long as I can keep the sleeper turbo as consistent as I can, which I've pretty much already done, I don't like desires in the deck because the deck's just too combo heavy. Yeah. And if I blind desires, I could banish a lot of stuff. But, like, I play this right now just to, the back, to be like a backup to this. Yeah. And it, it helps. It helps a lot. Because even though I only play three, I only have three targets for it. Yeah, and I mean, you've already been pretty good with it here, winning a couple locals. And yeah. What, what I would like to think is a pretty competitive uh, local here with some of the players we have. Yeah. So, I mean, it's done you pretty well. I mean, we've almost had a near spiral takeover here with you and uh, Brian Bernardi. Yeah, there's Chad too. So, like. Yeah. And then the extra deck's going to probably change a lot. Like, so, like, these will go. Uh, you'll probably play more rank one. So you won't play any instant fusions at all. I yeah, I probably won't. I'll probably cut all that, and then I play a whole lot more than just. Yeah, would you keep the top logic bomber, or would you just replace it with firewall? I may. I probably will just keep firewall. It'd be kind of kind of neat though. You could loop both of them together. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, I'm definitely gonna play a lot more rank ones because you can just keep looping quick fix. Yeah, the um, Lyrusk, or what, what's that called? The Lyrusk Lyr, uh, Assemble Nightingale. Yeah, that one's actually pretty good. I like her a lot because I can take no battle damage. And right now when I brick, it helps me stall. Yeah. But, um, That's pretty nice. Yeah. And then um, we're getting the new one in Circuit Break, and it helps you search DD Crow. <laughs> so, like, Imagine me do all my combo. I have a Phoenix Wing Wind Blast that's going to stack your deck. I have Sleeper that's going to do two pops. I have... Um, and then I have that and a DD Crow in my back pocket for whenever you try to loop your stuff. Yeah, so, so DD Crow's a pretty nice searchable card to have in the mirror, you think? Oh, definitely. For quick fix? Yeah. Um, yeah, I think... I think that's all I'm really going to main. Yeah, so um, just I think the last discussion I can really think of about like spirals, it's just kind of turned into a combo slash discussion on spirals at this point. Um, best hand trap against spirals? Um, 
I like Joel and Lockbird, and I like uh, Joel and Lockbird's kind of retarded against the deck because it just tells you your turn's over. Yeah, because you need the search more than once. To yeah, it's it, and then um, I like DD Crow a lot. The deck's really susceptible to hand traps, like a well-placed Ghost Ogre, a well-placed Ash. Uh, it just depends on the hand. Like, it just depends because it's a combo-heavy deck. Right. So. All right. So, any last thoughts on uh, the deck now and going forward? Uh, like right now, it's probably like tier two. Um, but um, after circuit break, you think at least tier one? Oh, at least. Yeah. So that's fun. I'm just, I still enjoy it. Yeah. I really like this the way it plays now. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, I, like right now, it's like I'm I can break your board or I can make a board. Yeah. While I make a board. Because Coral Dragon, you can discard stuff off for to break people's boards and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, people, so, a lot of people forget about that with Coral Dragon. So it helps me break boards. So, like, if you think about it, if I'm allowed to do everything I'm allowed to do, I have three pops. Yeah. And that's not including if you, like, I opened a Twin Twister or, you right, know, Gekki. or a Geki or something. Yeah. So the, the deck's good. It just it needs to open that and this every time. Yeah. Or not be stopped, but I like it. I still want to play it. All right, okay. Oh, good. I don't want double helix to be a million dollars because it's going to be a secret, but yeah. it probably will be. Yep. Rip our wallets. Yep. All right. Well, take it easy, guys. Yep. That is it for this uh, combo slash discussion video. Thank you to Dylan Hurst uh, for providing the uh, you know, combos, the cards, and the insight. And speaking of insight, I will be leaving a link to uh, Team Oversight in the description. Uh, catch you guys next time.